Good morning, y'all. Uh, so I haven't made a video since about Saturday for Katie's Carlin Coffee. Um, it's been the holidays. Christmas came up pretty quick, and I had been working Christmas Eve. Um, so I really didn't have that much time to film during Christmas and Christmas Eve. So today is Wednesday, and um, I just kind of wanted to do a little update and explain a few things. Um, so, like I said um, last week or in my Katie's Cars and Coffee video, um, after putting on my rush guard, I got into an accident. Um, I will, I'm gonna explain it now. So anyways, let's, I'm gonna do a little diagram here. Um, so I was sitting at a stop sign on going across a four lane road, two on one, two of the other. And then across from me was another guy turning I was trying to make a left, he was trying to make a right, so we ended up going the same way. <clears throat> I ended up getting a uh, clear section to go, so I, made, I started making my turn, and halfway through my turn, he started pulling into doing his turn. So I was like, okay, no big deal, there are two lanes, we'll be fine. So I pull into my lane, and then he pulls up next to me and keeps on coming over. Now, my brush guard ends up covering the headlights themselves, and then... Or wrapped around a little bit. So he ended up merging into me and hitting the brush guard. That's it. That's the only thing he hit. Um, now kind of looking at it, maybe my, my wheels got a little scratched, but they buff out fine. Um, <laughs> but he merged into me, into my brush guard. I pull over, he pulls over, we get to, get to talking. I see no damage on my car. There's nothing. The brush guard took all of the impact and not even a scratch on the brush guard. I'm amazed. But on his car, it got pretty pretty screwed up. And um, we exchanged phone numbers, exchanged insurances. Uh, we probably should have called the cops, but we didn't. So we, we kept on texting each other after that saying, okay, let me know if you're going to do insurance or, or what the deal is. Because I since he hit me, it technically was his fault. I had no damage on my car, so I wasn't going to do it. I was like, eh, no big deal. Um, so, in that case, I wasn't going to do insurance, um, but he was like, well, um, technically you're supposed to uh, yield for the person making the right, and I don't know. He was like, yeah, I made my turn maybe a little bit too wide, but technically we're both at fault, and I just immediately said, no, we're not both at fault. You made your turn too wide. You came into my lane. I was already making my turn. I didn't have to yield to you because I was already in my turn. So, I went into my left lane. You should have stayed in your right lane. Simple as that. So, we went back and forth on text a little bit. <clears throat> he was like, I'll let you know if anything important happens. And I was like, okay, fine. But you've already claimed responsibility saying, you yeah, know, technically it's both our fault. I never said it was. So, he claimed responsibility and... He already he said he turned too wide and came into my lane. I mean, simple as that. He I have it on text, on proof, and everything. So I I called my insurance immediately after he was getting all flaky and stuff. So I called my insurance and I was like, all right, so here's the deal. I'm making my statement. I don't want this to be a report yet. So or or a claim, I guess. Um. So if he calls and says that yeah, this guy hit me or whatever, my claim's already on record, or my my report. <clears throat> but I haven't heard anything, and that was about, uh, about two weeks ago, maybe. Um, so, I think he realized he done screwed up and <laughs> with trying to blame it on me. And then all the text that he put on there, too. Um, I mean, he already claimed full. Well, there's no reason to go into insurance and have them do all their stuff if, if you already over text have said fault. Okay, so, um, why have the insurance do their thing if you've already claimed fault and everything like that? So, I haven't heard anything from my insurance company. He hasn't texted me again since that, so, I guess we're fine. Um, it's not really a big deal. Like I said, my car didn't get damaged, and I stayed in my lane. So, <coughs> I don't know what this guy was doing, but I, I, he looked like a maybe, maybe a kid in high school, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, when you pulled over, he's like, yeah, my parents are going to be pissed. I was like, fine, whatever, I don't I, you think I care? I, I really don't care, you're the one at fault. So, um, that happened, and 
that's the whole story on the brush guard. Um, I'll put in a clip later of the brush guard and show you where it hit, but literally there's no damage whatsoever to my car. And like I, I he busted in his like his headlight and like his hood got dented and everything. So amazing brush guard, fantastic purchase, totally worth its money already. Uh, um, so like, and that happened four hours after I got it installed. Four hours. It's just insane. So I'm glad I had it on. And uh, yeah, so that happened. That's that's the story on that. And then um, yeah, so. I also want to get in on what I got for Christmas. But as you all know, I have a Nikon D3300, which is what I've been filming all my videos with. Um, also, I have my GoPro, so I mean, I've done a few videos with that. But my main camera is a, a Nikon D3300. So as many of you all know, or if you don't know, um, it does not have full-time autofocus. So that has always really bugged me in all my videos because I'll, I'll see shots where it's totally out of focus. And that, that really bothers me. Um, so, uh, like, that, that had to go. I, I had to figure out something with that. And then another thing with this camera is that um, the the back screen doesn't flip out. So I have no, no idea what I'm filming if I, I'm doing, like, vlog style. So that being said... Um, I just kind of needed a, a more uh, videography or video focused camera for this channel. So um, I asked uh, <clears throat> I asked all my parents or my parents, my um, my girlfriend, and everybody. Like, I really don't want that much for Christmas this year, but like, would y'all mind like chipping in on something for me? Like, I know it's expensive, so it, like anything would help, but like. And you're covered. You don't have to go actually shopping for me. You just you just put it in some shares and you're done. So, um, all right, cool. So this is what I ended up getting. It is a Canon T7i um, or 800D, I think. So this is what we're going to be filming with from now on. Um, as many of y'all know, I switched from a, a Nikon to a Canon. But this has the full-time autofocus, it has the movable um, display, so when I'm filming now, I can go like this and see myself um, and see what I'm filming. And then it has some of the best full-time autofocus out there right now, um, so that's fantastic. Because every time with this camera, I literally have to hold down the, like, the, the shutter button until it auto focuses by itself or like I have to do it so anytime I change from like one thing one object to another I gotta keep on doing that so that's been a real pain um, it's really put a damper in all my videos <clears throat> but from now on we will be using the Canon, Canon Rebel T7i um, it's a fantastic camera so far I messed around with it a little bit um, but I will be filming the rest of the vlog with this camera as today I might have a potential buyer for the camera that you guys are seeing right now um so that might be cool that might help out um purchase some other things or i'll just put the money away um who knows but let me um i'm gonna switch over to the canon right now and we'll see the difference and i'm also using the stock of microphones in both cameras for this portion of the vlog um i have my road mic downstairs but i wanted to just test out the stock mic so, that being said, let's switch over. Alright, y'all. So, this is the new Canon Rebel T7i um, that I'm filming with right now. Um, I love it. Uh, it's fantastic. Right now, I got the screen on the side right now. And, it like, it's tracking my face and, like, keeping me in focus. So, I, I love it. It's fantastic. Um, it does everything that I want it to. Um, the only thing now is I'm gonna have to get a bigger uh, SD card for my shooting or I'm gonna have to go back on the current SD card and just delete a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so some benefits of this one is it shoots 60 frames a second in 1080p, um, which this one, it did not. Um, <clears throat> so there will be some slow motion clips, which I'm super excited for. Um, and what else? I mean, it's got the full-time autofocus like you can see like 
Let's see if it does it. I don't know. See, I, don't, I can't tell right now, but it, it has the full-time autofocus, which is fantastic. Um, so this one, I am meeting a potential buyer today. Um, came with the uh, 18 to 55 meter, millimeter lens to and the um, 55 to 200 millimeter lens. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get a good good penny for this, um, and then we'll be done with the Nikons, and we'll switch over to Canon, and it'll be fantastic. But I, I love how compact this whole this whole thing is. It feels very sturdy compared to the Nikon. Um, I don't know, it just, it feels better, or, well, the Canon does. This one, it just, it feels kind of cheapish. Um, I mean, I got this in high school for my photography class, and it has done fantastic. I love it. Um, it has definitely served its purpose, but now that I've been getting into YouTube and um, trying to film more, <clears throat> um, it, it just kind of lacks with the videos. So that being said, we are going to be sticking with the Canon from now on. Um, the Nikon is hopefully going to be gone today. Um, so yeah, new content with the uh, the Canon. So we're going to keep on going with that, and um, I will see you in this next portion of the vlog. All right, so right now we are waiting for the uh, the buyer of the Nikon. Um, hopefully she gets here soon, um, or I guess potential buyer. She just wants to look at the camera right now and, and make sure everything is good with it. Um, so if everything is good with it, I think I should be able to get the price that I want. Um, I've treated the camera like it's my baby, so I mean, it should be fine, hopefully. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting here now.